Hello citizens and welcome. This is our match preview for Manchester City first Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. So hit that like button if you're new, hit subscribe and as always, let's jump into it. So of course we didn't play over the weekend. The game against Tottenham was postponed because of the Queen's death. So our last game out was actually in the Champions League against Sevilla last week. We won that game 4-0. Allen got another two, Foden scored and Ruben Diaz got the fourth. And if we take a minute to look at that game, you know, we, we controlled possession, we dominated them in their half of the pitch, we limited them to pretty much nothing, and in the second half, we could have scored more goals, particularly on the counter-attack, we looked quite dangerous when the game opened up a little bit, they got tired and were looking for a goal, so we, we could have came out of that game with, you know, an even better result, but it did send us to the top of the group by one goal, Dortmund won their game 3-0 of course, and going against Dortmund, I don't think it's a winner-take-all situation. I expect both teams to go through from the group. It's not a difficult group. I expect City to win it. I expect Dortmund to come second. But I still think City should be winning this game by two or three goals. I watched Dortmund in the weekend in the Bundesliga against Red Bull Leipzig, and I thought they could have lost that game 5 or 6-0. No, they created nothing going forward. They were poor defensively. And Leipzig are not playing well this season. They've just lost their manager. So I think Dortmund, they can be beaten in this game, and I think we should probably come through it. Now, of course, the big talking point, the big topic is going to be Haaland again. It's going to be a big topic pretty much all season. But in this one, especially because he played for them over the last couple of years and he came to us in the summer. And he's going to be playing against his former club. But for me, the, the key in this game is momentum. It's a word I've used quite a bit over the last few days. But I think momentum is quite important for us because we've got an international break coming up next week. And coming back from that, we've got the Derby game. So we need to carry on our good form this season. We're unbeaten. You know, we've drawn two, won the rest. But we really, you know, we, we've not really quite clicked for me. We've not had games. Well, we've had games where we're super hot. But we've not had every game where we're super hot. We've had, like, games where we've been hot and cold within nine minutes. You look at the Palace game, we were poor in the first half, better in the second. Newcastle started off well, then went poor for 50 minutes, then got better in the last half an hour. I mean, it does show that we're, you know, we're, we're determined that we're not going to lie down and get beat. And the fact that we've come from two goals down a couple of times already this season is a really good sign. But I'd rather be two goals ahead than two goals behind going into halftime or going into the last half an hour. And I think once it clicks, I mean, we'll keep more clean sheets and we'll be fine. Going forward, I don't really have many problems, to be honest with you. If you look at our front three, whoever he rotates in and out, I mean, he doesn't seem to like Maris at the moment, but... You know, Foden, even though he's not been particularly on form, he gives you work rate, he gives you effort, and he got his goal against Sevilla. So I'm hoping that Spurs is on. Ha Haaland is a real goal poacher, and he's going to score goals. If you put the ball in the box, he's going to be there. He doesn't care about anything else. He just wants to score goals. Got no problems with him. Alvarez, when he's played, you know, Nottingham Forest, he was brilliant. He could have had a hat-trick. Remember, he hit the post. You know, he's got right foot, left foot. He's got work rate as well. He looks highly determined. So... You know, whoever he plays then front three. And even Grealish, to be honest with you, I think Grealish gets a lot of stick, but I think he's had a decent start to the season. Yeah, I mean, he's not setting the world alight. He's not scoring three goals every game and he's not creating every time he goes forward. But, you know, he he, he looks like he's getting there and, you know, he's he's consistent anyway. So forward lies, I'm not that bothered. The midfield for me has been a bit interesting because Gundogan and De Bruyne doesn't seem to work every game. But he's determined to play them every game. Um... But I'd rather drop Bernardo back there, move Bernardo from the right and put him in his usual role because I think he's more impactful there. I think he's I think he's better for the team there. And on the right hand side, you can put Mares, you can fold and Alvarez, whoever you want. But I think Bernardo should be dropping back in the Gundogan usual role and swap out De Bruyne for Gundogan, however you see fit. Defensively is where we've been a little bit... For me, I've said it a couple of times, I don't really trust the defence and... It's a bit unfair, but they seem to have not clicked at the moment. I mean, look at Sevilla. Akanji came in, and I thought he was brilliant, honestly. I think he looks good on the ball. He's confident when he's passing out from the back. And um, positional-wise and defending-wise, he looks pretty good. So I'm quite happy with his signing. I mean, Stones I really like, but, you know, he's prone to an injury. Laporte as well, he's not played this season. So centre-back-wise, I'm not really too fussed, because I think even Ake's done really well there this season. Left-back Gomez came in. I thought he looked a little bit shaky in the first half. He grew into it, though. Right back. I think I prefer Cancelo there than Walker at the moment. I don't think Walker's had a great start to the season. But I think because Pep pushes his full-backs into the middle and is playing narrow, 
Um, I don't think Walker suits that role. You know, it's not Walker's fault. You just can't create. You just can't really pass. And again, I'm not blaming Walker for that. He's, he's a fullback. You know, he's been a fullback all his life. And Pep's trying to play him in uh, centre mid. So I think I prefer um, Jao Cancelo there. But I think whoever we play, like I said, I think we should win this game. I, I think we should come through two or three goals. To be honest with you, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a particularly difficult game for us. Um, but like I said, the, the, the big thing is momentum. Um, and I think going into the next game, I'm expecting the Wolves game. I mean, we still don't know if it's on or off, but I expect it to be on. I think we just got to keep, keep going, not get beaten this game, win, you know, because winning this game would give us obviously another three points. It would stamp our authority on the group. And it would just, you know, we, we can play a little bit more casually going into the other games. I mean, we won't, but the rest of the Champs League group, then we can just, you know, rotate a little bit more and prepare more for the Premier League because we've got some tough games in the Premier League coming up too, particularly after our Champs League matches. So it's a chance for Pep to rotate more and try out different combinations up front and in defence. So momentum is the key. Momentum, momentum, momentum. We just got to keep going and hopefully we get the three points like i said i expect us to get three points i don't think this is going to be a difficult game i think it'd be a good game but i don't think dom should cause us too many problems particularly since we have harland um it'd be nice to see him score uh, i don't think it maybe he'll celebrate who knows but yeah that's it that's the match preview just a nice little short one so make sure to like button again if you're new hit subscribe let me know who you would start in defense who you would start up front what your goal uh score prediction will be and um yeah as always thanks for watching and uh See you again. Oh, um, before I go, I will be doing a match watch along for the game, so make sure to join me for that from 7.45 p.m. Bye-bye.